Changing the strategy to combat heroin use here in Milwaukee, from jail time to education. Milwaukee is one of the first cities in the country for the new DEA program. Rebecca Clough explains how users will be treated much differently the next time they visit the hospital. Charles and Shannon, the DEA says it can't arrest its way out of the heroin problem, so it's turning to others for help, including your doctor. Milwaukee is battling a heroin problem. Last year, more than 100 people died from heroin overdoses in the county. 80% of new heroin users start with prescription painkillers or opioid drugs. The reason? The Wisconsin Medical Society says doctors are prescribing too many high-level painkillers. They set up a situation where people become dependent on those pain medications. The Milwaukee County Common Council president says it's a problem that's hitting every level of society in the city. Probably everyone in this room may know somebody or somebody who has an addiction problem or someone who's lost their life. He says he's gone through the numbers from the county medical examiner, and the average man who dies from an opioid overdose is a 42-year-old white male. The average female is a 39-year-old white woman who uses oxycodone. The goal of the DEA's new 360 program is education. They're reaching out to pharmacists and doctors. They want patients to think about opioid drugs the way we now think about antibiotics. They want people to use them sparingly. We learned that lesson with antibiotics. I hope that we can actually shorten our learning curve uh, when it comes to opioids. The DEA's new program also wants to see more people who are addicted to heroin get into treatment programs. But they say make no mistake about it. If you're a drug dealer or a gang member who brings heroin into this community, the DEA is still going to come after you and arrest you. Reporting live in downtown Milwaukee, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4. It is a big, big problem. All right, Rebecca.